you know who we are now that is the, the question. chief run it when nobody is even pursuing him what video every year for the last 13 years bola Ahmed Tinubu has marked his birthday with the bola Tinubu colloquium but this year all of a sudden he cancelled the bola Tinubu colloquium the 14th one and this is a special year for him he's been declared as president-elect by INEC we might dispute it I dispute it you know we're in court but he's been declared as the president-elect by INEC on his birthday he was nowhere to be seen Nigerian newspapers were flooded with newspaper congratulations. The man did not acknowledge anything. He's just disappeared. He's become a ghost. This man is no longer a private citizen. He's the president-elect of the largest black nation on earth. Jesus. He cannot just disappear. We want to know where the man... This is applicable to APC. And I want you to watch this video. They hear now say, Tinubu not there inside Nigeria for how many... If they get to three weeks now, that's the way talk saying I ain't with the election. Man, he come lost. Person no come see him again. And some people come talk saying that France he enter out. Tinubu himself now come talk say that treatment where he go collect for, for three weeks now. Person never see you, never return. Now this time Tinubu where uh, Dino Abelaye come out, come talk say he no even sabi whether he, he should say he enter school. And this uh, Dino Abelaye no call even they far from truth. Because this to know the self, you know, even call no grading system where they for SSC in. Now, so the whole world go, they look us, they see us as Momo. How person where no even no grading system, where come they talk about E11 and the F13? Eh? You can't the, I mean, people who come, they look at, say, this is now the president of your country, I mean, uh, who? So for this area, say, in the news, I would have uh, kidnappers, don't catch, oh, uh, Person where we say his life now, nah, toggly, 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 every year and there. And the rose everywhere, just the surrender. I know anything now, they say, if they can't do anything, they can't do. Even the Mahmoud professor, where he call himself, saying be professor. That man is what I never see for this life. That man, where saying be professor, how he come take, become professor, how he come take, pass his own exams. Now, the fear of entering government is hitting government and power. Is hitting the ruling party APC after stealing the Nigerian people's mandate at the election. You know, if um, in Nigeria is where politicians are quick to tell you go to court after stealing people's mandate, and that is what is applicable in a system whereby thieves and rogues are running the justice system because. In the same climb, people try to avoid court case. But that is different with Nigeria. That is why Yakubu Mahmoud of INEC was bold and swift to tell Nigerians who are not, you know, accepting the charade he had conducted in the name of election to go to court. Yes. Now, why is the fear of interim government? Because they knew what they did. Now, let us begin this with this analysis and the concern of the Nigerian justice system. Listen to this. One of the specificities of this country is Let's that we have more cases around elections that go to court than any other country in the world. Your attentiveness what is important. What all this tells us is that one of the worrying realities of our contemporary Nigeria is that the judiciary has become an active player in deciding electoral outcomes, and they are not always doing it for the good reason. This should disturb us, and this should lead us to a situation where elections should be decided at the polling booth where people express their votes and those votes are counted and the clear results are announced and that's the end of the story that's where we want to be at and therefore i'm worried about the role of the judiciary uh, i'm particularly worried about certain gains we've made in law such as the fact that you can't say you are the candidate for an election if you didn't contest in the primaries. We had a Senate president 
we have a Senate president who we all saw did not participate in an election, and the judiciary declares him as the candidate for that primary elections. That Today, this question why you want to ask now, I don't want to answer myself. <laughs> But as you don't answer now, let's watch your question. Let's, let's listen to Ram before 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 I, I go I go digress. Before I go analyze. Before before I go expansiate on them. <laughs> for those who never see Runa Runa video all right now, watch video. Every year for the last 13 years, Bola Ahmed Tinibu has marked his birthday with the Bola Tinibu Colloquum. Last year they had the 13th Colloquum, but this year, all of a sudden, he cancelled the Bola Tinibu Colloquum, the 14th one. And this is a special year for him. He's been declared as president-elect by INEC. We might dispute it, I dispute it, you know, we're in court, but he's been declared as the president-elect by INEC. On his birthday, he was nowhere to be seen. Nigerian newspapers were flooded with newspaper congratulations. The man did not acknowledge anything. He's just disappeared, he's become a ghost. And this does not make sense. This man is no longer a private citizen. He's the president-elect of the largest black nation on earth. Jesus. He cannot just disappear. We want to know where the man is. This is the holy month of Ramadan. Nigerian leaders of the Islamic faith have a traditional Media habit so of breaking the fast said. with members of the Muslim Ummah. This man has just disappeared. We've not seen him breaking the fast with anybody. It doesn't make sense. This is unusual. We need to ask questions because we've just come out of eight years of Muhammad Dubuhari where he's had health challenges and he disappears for long periods of time. The country has become or goes on autopilot. We had two recessions. We became the world headquarters for extreme poverty and for out of school children. We don't want this deja vu again. We need to know where this man is. Remember in 2007 when the then presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Umar Musa Yaradua, disappeared for a little while. Less than a week, this man, Bola Ahmed Tinibu, raised hell. We want to know where Yaradua is. When he became a president-elect, Yaradua disappeared for a little while. Bola Ahmed Tinibu also raised hell. You can Google it. And when he became president, he disappeared. Bola Ahmed Tinibu justifiably raised hell. We want to know where this man is. So now, we should also raise hell. Where is Bola Ahmed We need to know where he is. If the man did not want us into his business, he should have sat in his home and not contested elections and not read and not say, okay, yes, I'm president-elect. If he has been declared as president-elect, then he's not a private citizen. We have a right. We need to know where this man is. Is he okay? What's the matter with him? They say he's in Paris. We've not seen him at all in Paris. He's not engaging with the Nigerian community in Paris. He's, there are mosques in Paris. He's not going there during Ramadan. He's not inviting people to his hotel room or his hospital room or wherever he is. We need to know where this man is because Nigeria cannot survive another eight years of Buhari's echo. Thank you for watching and may God bless you.